Glad to see you all with us here this morning so that we can worship on this, the Lord's Day. We've got some announcements we need to take care of this morning. Uh, one of them being that uh, the youth are having a lock-in next Friday night, starting about 10 o'clock till about 6, 6.30 on Saturday morning. And we need uh, a couple of things from you. First of all, if somebody would be willing to put together some breakfast casseroles, are we getting those lined up? One or two, well, maybe we need one or two other kind of breakfast kind of casseroles so they can sort of slide in the oven about 5.30 that morning. Unless you'd like to get up and come down about 4.30 and start cooking. Well, uh, the breakfast casserole seems like a good, uh, uh, a good alternative. So we need that. We need some snacks and other things as well. Snacks, other things, and we need some chaperones. Now, if you can't work the whole night, that's fine. We'll, we'll get you in there for two or three hour shift, but... Uh, uh, we do have to have some chaperones if we're going to have a lock-in with the kids. So uh, please talk with Christy about that. Also, if you want to help out uh, this coming Wednesday night, we're having a meal for the soccer teams. The boys and girls soccer teams are going to be coming to the church this Wednesday night. We're going to be feeding them hamburgers and hot dogs about 6 o'clock. Is Debbie in here yet? What is it that we need? Potato salad, coleslaw. Potato salad, coleslaw. So she's got two potato salads, two coleslaws. Got baked beans taken care of. Some drinks along those lines and that kind of stuff. If you'll bring that to the church on Wednesday, we'll put it to use. And if you want to stay around and meet some of the soccer team members, that would be good too. Give you a chance to meet some of the kids from our community. And uh, we'd greatly appreciate that. In... Two Friday nights, Friday night, May the 29th, we are having our second fish fry. You know, we had one last year, a great time, a lot of work, a lot of effort. Uh, we're trying to fix enough fish for, to feed 225 people, 225 orders. So uh, we've got the fish and everything ready, but we could use some help getting that ready. Uh, some workers on that day. Uh, also, some folks that will be willing to buy some tickets as well for the meal. Christy has the tickets, and you can get them from her ahead of time. You can get them at the door, but once we reach the 225 limit, or maybe a little sooner if it looks like we're running low, we're, we're just going to cut off sales. Uh, and last year, you know, you may think, oh, 225, we'll never sell that many. Well, we sold about 225 last year. So we're uh, anticipating selling as many this year as we did last year. So go ahead and get your tickets early for that at 5.30 to 8 p.m. Eat in or carry out. And we're going to try to have another great time with that. That'll be funds that'll be used for our vacation Bible school. I'm trying to think. What else is there on the list here that I haven't gone over? Lock-ins. Mm, farmer's markets. Fish fries. Oh, we need some desserts for the fish fry. Uh, we're doing homemade desserts. So if you can uh, make a dessert that would... Uh, for that meal, we'd appreciate that as well. Pat, do you want to talk about the missions kit? Can we get a microphone for Pat down here? On the back page of the bulletin, you will see the list of items to be put in the mission kits for annual conference. Um, if you can't, we're kind of low. I I think I counted yesterday or Friday or sometime, and we only have a little less than 10 in there, and that's a way short of my goal for this year. So if you haven't done one, or even if you have, if you've got an extra 10 to $12, go uh, you know, get another mission kit if, together if you would. And if you're lacking um, the two-gallon bag, it came out in the district newsletter that they have the two-gallon Ziploc bags at the district office. So you don't have to go out and buy a box of those if you're not going to need them. Uh, you can just put all your items in another bag, and we'll take them out there, and they will put them in the Ziploc, in the two-gallon Ziploc. Um, so, and if you can't do a kit, as it says in the bulletin, we need $5 per kit to mail them. So... 
it'd be nice if you do a kid if you could include your five dollars and that's to go actually to the church and the church is to write one check to the district for the shipping of all the items rather than try not to put your five dollars in the kit just um, put it in an envelope for the offering and market mission kit you know uh, five dollars mission kit shipping or uh, some way and we'll put it in the treasury and then Becky can just write the one check so okay. those have to be in by May 31st so that's two more Sundays because they have to be at the district office the first June 1st or 2nd I think at the latest they may be are the, Connie are they being picked up on the first at the district or that week I know they're being picked up that week so we need to get them out there by June 1st or 2nd absolutely okay so okay. try to get those in Okay, next Sunday is going to be Pentecost Sunday. If you've not put your red stuff from winter away yet, uh, wear red next Sunday, please. We're gonna, I always like to see what a church full of red looks like on Pentecost Sunday, since that's the, the color for that day, and we'll see how that goes. Are there other announcements we need to make? It's not a church announcement, okay. Leaving. Andrew called. Bless so Andrew's heart. He was 24 hours without talking, and since he's been able to talk, he's called me three times. So <laughs> he's, he's all he's all excited he could talk. So he called me just as I was leaving. But um, this is not a church well, thing. Well, go ahead. So sorry. But um, Jacob is um, planning on going to football camp again this year, and so he's selling butter braids. They aren't back in time yet for him to to be here today, but if you're interested in a butter braid or if you'd like to make a donation, he'd appreciate it. Okay, other announcements? <clears throat> 